I say you're beautiful people. So, I'm at the beach uh, to try and record something for the second of my uh, musical pieces. So since uh, copyright algorithm police haven't turned up, I'm just going to risk releasing each of them. But we're going to—I'm going to release each one with a reading. So I'm sitting under a palm tree shaded canopy um, in a restaurant and <laughs> there's people all around and they're staring at me while I do this but I'm just going to crack on um, I'm going to go into the piece of music put that on and focus on the message that might be in the music but before we do that it's I'm going to sound the note D which will also <laughs> cause everyone to stare at me um, so we're looking at the sacral today and it's called self embodiment as you will have seen from the title um, and it's all about the water the seat of the soul cleansing doing things to honor yourself and as I say it's the note D so here is I sang it just now and it went down to a C sharp and then someone walked behind and stood watching me. So Just do the two. Whew. That exhausted all my oxygen. So let's put the track on. I do love this one. Birds joining in. There's a lot of high Hollywood strings in this one. And dolphins going <laughs> You'll hear them later, sorry. But I'm gonna talk over it, but you will get to hear the track because I will release it separately with a video of something beautiful like the water. So, track, self-embodiment. What would you like to tell us? What would you like to tell us? A lot of blackbirds, crow type birds, turning up at the moment. So we have two cards, and we have the sun and the witness. So, the sun and the witness. The sun came out face up, the witness came out face down. The energy, uh, there we go, there's the sun. self-embodiment it's almost like at the moment the fear of embodying your own truth is shadowing your truth it's like we are blocking our own light and uh, the meditation that you will find within this piece will help you which way to turn it it's so difficult to light things here I'm hoping that when the video plays it will be brighter but so we all shade our own joy is the message and it's asking us to look at that look look at the elements within yourself that you don't allow to come out 
the things you don't allow to complete to reveal some kind of new energy. So look at the seat of your soul. Look at the happiness that is in the seat of your soul and look for the holes in the seat of your soul. See, I was going to pick up the alchemy deck, but as I was saying that, they were saying you really should pick up the rune deck and allow the energy of the water meadow in. They were showing me the water meadow. It's like, where are the holes that need seed planting in it? And the seeds need to be pushed into the soil, into the shadows. Maybe that's why I'm in shade here. There's little moments where I feel like the computer's trying to push. Oh, Earth Masian. Thy earthly power. 6460. Uh, this is the sacral planted with the seed. But it's not it's not the energy of the sacral as in what emotions are within the inner esoteric energy of your soul. What have you planted in your soul that can bloom, that's like the luminous warrior sunshine frequency, that will just grow from you, from within you, as you create some kind of new energy of love for all that you are and all that you do. So, what else would you like to say? What else would you like to say? Oh, that one took off in the wind and blew towards another table. Blow away the shadows, the nutrients. Complete them. Witness them, complete them. The nutrients are in the soil. The nutrients are in the soul. The nutrients are in the shadowy aspects that you've lived through, that you've experienced, that have pained you. Look at those energies. See those things that hurt and clean them. Clean them up. Scrub the rusts off. Scrub the calcifying energies off. Look, it doesn't matter whether you're young or whether you're old. At any point, you can witness your shadows and you can decide to work with the energy of those shadows to create some kind of energetic change. I think someone's going to come over and try and sell me something now. All I want someone to sell me is the seat of my soul and I'm the only one that can actually buy that and own it. So, you know... Hopefully, they won't bother me because they can see I'm talking to a video camera, but I don't think people pay attention to that. Here we go, we've got another one. Gut, resolve the gut. We've got to go in there and we've got to clean everything up. We've got to trim down. We've got to peel away, look. It's, this is often, the idea that you open you open up your gut, you open up the seat of your soul so that it can receive a new seed. And when you're comfortable, you seal it in. So again, it's saying we've got to change things. We've got to resolve self-loathing, resolve shame, resolve all of those things are where we are not fair to ourselves, the histories that we remember, that we keep repeating, the things we use basically to create some kind of damage to our progress, a limitation to our progress. This is called self-embodiment. You have to embody yourself, but you have to do that in a place of love for yourself. I know we talk about it and it's not that easy. There's traumas. I know all of that, but what I'm trying to say to you is, I've had my traumas, and there are still some, don't think I'm completely through this process, but 
I've tried to witness everything that brings me some kind of grief or sadness and I've tried to find a way of making that, owning that, changing that so that I can clear dryers that are blocking my future that were created in a repetitive memory of something in the past. And we can all do this. But you have to choose to change your frequency. You have to choose to not be the victim anymore. Look, I want to just say, look at that lovely family wandering off down to the sea for a bit of self-embodiment. Right, so look, now, that's interesting actually. Earlier, we had 60-10. And I was thinking how it's six and one, but it's also 60 and 10 makes one, zero. Now we've actually got 30 lightning, and that's coming with number one, the ancient one. So this is very hold, empowering energy hidden, I mean, within the sacral, waiting, because this card is difficult to see in this light. There's a figure around this card, and in the middle there is a sword that is waiting to be pulled out from inside the soul of the person. And so this feels like an ancient relief, like an energy that's being offered that is always offered to everyone and they're showing me sword in the stone. No one can take your sword out but you. You, you, us, we, ourselves are the only one who can remove the sword from the stone. And then you can take that sword and you can heat it and smelt it and melt it and hammer it and change the shape of it so that it becomes your sword. It's always been your sword, but it's somehow got a dirty old rusty patina. So now I'm gonna use the alchemy deck just to end. Because I'm trying to keep these little videos fairly short. That's so interesting. Water. This is card 67, which is a 13. Emotional truths. This is self-embodiment. We're here at the water and this card, I need to bring it in. This card's the blue of the sea. And it's about emotional truths. In the seat of the soul re reside emotional truths that we can't face. 1331, as I looked up at the clock, this is a 13. Turn around your emotional shames and make them emotional truths. 69, physical truths. So the energy of taking emotional truths, and as I say, bringing them in to thy earthly power, creating a frequency that roots them down in your reality. I'm going to have to end because the music all around me is getting a bit loud and while I can get away with my own music, I'm not going to get away with some Mexican uh, pop star bellowing at the top of their lungs. So they took off. They really took off like they were not going to come back. Moon in Aquarius. Oh, with Eros. So you had emotional truths that you bring in. Moon in Aquarius, emotional freedom. If you can self-embody your emotional truths, you get emotional freedom. Nothing is any longer an Achilles heel for you. And then you end with Eros, sexual desires. 
it's like I want to say you're shooting yourself with an arrow of self love and that's what self embodiment does as a frequency so what's all that's a little self embodiment reading for you and I will post the track you can hear or you heard um, separately with the sea. Wassail.